Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom and this afternoon we're going to do our field trip number 10. So I've, I've got one hive here that went without, a, 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 the population d died off pretty well and it had no queen in it. So what I've done is I've put four frames of brood in there you know, with some newly laid eggs, newly laid fertile eggs with the hope that they'd make a new queen for themselves. And I think that was about a month ago or more. So I'm just going to inspect it and uh, now I'm going to use plenty of smoke because Wilm was here without a veil or a bee suit. Uh, I've just got to put a bit more stuff in the smoker. Uh, <laughs> give him plenty of smoke. Uh, one thing you'll, you'll notice if you if you find that your population in your in your hives drop down, uh, it's best to have a look and see what's caused that. So. The hive could have swarmed, or uh, it could have uh, a disease, American fowl brood or European fowl brood, uh, or they might have gone queenless. So, uh, so that's what I did. I got into the bottom box, found that there was no queen in there. I couldn't see any traces of disease. So uh, I'm just going to have a look and see what's going on. So. If they have made a new queen, you don't know what her progeny is going to be like either. So, uh, so it's best to use plenty of smoke just to be on the safe side. So it's a bit overcast here. They're forecasting um, showers and storms tomorrow. So whether the bees can sort of tell. You probably can't tell that uh, there's bad weather coming. So as you can see, there's not very many bees in the top box. So that was what that was what rang alarm bells for me. I can hear a lot of noise in there with the smoke. So, uh, because Wilma hasn't got a veil, I'm just doing all my movements nice and slow, and uh, I don't want to upset the bees and get Wilma attacked. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish this video. All you'll see is me running away. <laughs> so, uh, I'm constantly squashing bees. Uh, not bees, uh, beetle, small hive beetle with my... Uh, there's a spider on this. Now, uh, just having a look here. So the first thing you're going to look for, besides the queen, is you're looking for uh, sealed brood or uh, or young larvae, young worker larvae. Pull this one out gently. Uh, you can see uh, what's happened here. You can see the smoke's making the bees look for uh, eating honey. You can see where they built all the queen cells in the process of making a new queen. Now, uh, um, can't see any eggs in that in that one. A bit overcast here, it's a bit hard. We're, we're nearly in the, the first month of autumn has nearly passed. What, what's it now, the 18th is it, or 17th? 18th, I think. 18th. The 18th day of autumn, and it's still quite hot here during the day. Yeah, well, we're still getting phone calls about swarms and things still, too. Still getting swarms here, yeah. there's a lot of pollen around. And uh, the bees are building up their populations. So it's when I get when we get phone calls about swarms, it also uh, makes us um, be aware that our own bees could be starting to swarm. We never collect swarms when people ring us up. Uh, the only swarms I collect are out of our own hives. If, if I come here and find a swarm hanging on one of these trees, if I can reach it, I'll put it in a box. We've got another site 
where we have bees and uh, sometimes I'll get a swarm out of my own bees there. Uh, I can't see any eggs on that one. What would that mean that she's not fertile yet? Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about the time. It's, see, she might have started laying on the other end of the... Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to think of how long ago since I put them in there. It's been it's been long enough that if if they did make themselves a queen, she she would be laying by now. So you got a one chance in seven that if you do get a new queen, there's a one chance in seven that she may fail. So now this is where you got to step in and uh, put another frame of brood in there. Uh, that's the beauty of keeping bees, you can, you know, there's no need for the colony to, to die out. You can sort of intervene and, uh, whereas in the wild, you know, that, if that one chance in seven occurs, uh, that hive will just eventually die out. And then that hive will breed up hundreds of thousands of small hive beetle. So, uh, there's a lot of small hive beetle in the area, so uh, I might not have mentioned this before, but we're in a subtropical area here, and uh, so uh, we uh, we only we we hardly get a winter here. We do get a cold weather, but it gets down, you know, around uh, below 10 degrees centigrade. Uh, these bees are getting a little bit agitated, Wilma, so I can't, still can't see any queen cells. So what I've got to do, if I can't see... Now even if the queen is there and she's fertile and she still hasn't started laying, if I was to put two or three frames of brood in here, it, it won't matter. Uh, she'll still start laying when she's ready. But it doesn't look as though we have a queen in here. So, uh, so what I'll do is, uh, I've got another four frames to inspect here. No, can't see any on that one. Now these other three hives on this stand are all pretty full of, pretty full of bees, so I'll, I'll need to uh, weaken, uh, weaken them out a bit so I can take some frames of brood out of one of them and uh, put them in the bottom of this one or even, even out, of the, out of all of them. Uh, put a few frames. See what you can do is if you've got a hive that's a little bit weak in numbers Oh. Sorry. Did it Sorry get you? if I no. Sorry uh, if I jiggled. If if you've got a hive that's a bit weak in numbers and you've got another one hive that's weak in numbers and another hive that's really strong in numbers, well you can just take out some frames of brood, especially sealed brood. Particularly if you've got a fr couple of frames that's just chop a block full of sealed brood, well you can just put them in the other hive that's a bit weak in numbers and strengthen that one up. There doesn't appear to be a queen laying eggs here so to finish it off uh, we're just going to uh, we don't know how long we've been videoing no, and uh, I didn't put to save Wilma getting stung we'll close off and say goodbye so what we're going to do is uh, get three or four or five frames out of one of these other boxes and uh, particularly if there's some nice uh, newly laid fertile eggs and uh, put them in the bottom here and uh, get them to make a new queen. Okay, Doug. Well, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.